Chapter 4, The German Conductor Benson was new on the trains. In fact, some could say it was his first day on the trains. One Christmas, on his first day having literally never done it before, old Benson was transporting important Christmas chemicals on the train when he decided to try to figure out what some of the buttons did. They're all in some kind of German, he thought, in English, and I guess I too must be German due to the logistics that led to my hiring, but I'm certainly not familiar enough with the language to operate a train. Some of the symbols were universal, like the 4G LTE mobile data bars, the red button for ejection seat, 16-track mix board, steering wheel so he could do U-turns, and of course the hilarious letters spelling out FML. I didn't even have to photoshop that in, he laughed, but he photoshopped it anyway, and he photoshopped out that steering wheel because there's no U-turns in trains. At one point, old Benson got this wise idea to stop the train. I forgot to check everyone's tickets, he thought, as if that was his job or possible, or as if the train had to be stopped to do that, or if Christmas chemicals needed tickets. And as we all wondered how he had been given a job, job with such responsibility and such little training. Benson brought the train to a screeching halt. He lost points right away, of course, but what was worse was that he couldn't figure out how to turn the train back on. Why don't we have robots that do this job already, he asked. They're replacing all kinds of other jobs, and traffic is mostly due to human error, he lamented. The only big questions remaining were the ethics of the trolley problem, that is, the problem of what decision is made if five people are tied to the railroad tracks and if a lever is pulled the train would be diverted and instead kill only one person. I wouldn't mind deciding who dies if the robots took over all the rest of this FML stuff, he said, in English, and then I wouldn't have to learn anything and I could just enjoy the countryside. This would work out very well for everyone, he concluded, and so old Benson decided to wait for the robots to come automate his job. 